Thank you for joining us on the program today. Welcome, I'm Layo Adegoke. South Sudan's former rebel leader, Rik Masha, has agreed to form a unity government with President Salva Kiir following a meeting at State House on Thursday. Mr. Masha says the meeting with the president was on outstanding issues and there is now a standing agreement to form the government on the 22nd of February. President Kiir has also confirmed this agreement. Before the announcement, it had been unclear if the deadline would be met as key benchmarks of the 2018 peace agreement had not been fulfilled. The deadline had elapsed several times without an agreement between the two sides. Meanwhile, a UN human rights investigation is accusing President Salva Kiir's government and other armed groups of deliberately starving civilians. Investigators found access to humanitarian aid and other basic services was intentionally blocked leaving more than half the population in acute need of food. They say millions of dollars of state money had been plundered by government officials and that they were collecting evidence on individuals for eventual use in court. Their report was published two days before a deadline to form a unity government. Deliberate starvation is quite clearly occurring along ethnic and political lines in an effort to marginalize dissident communities as well as those perceived to be too disenfranchised to challenge the status quo or demand transitional justice mechanisms. Their daily to day lives revolve around basic needs required for their survival. We'll be releasing a dedicated conference room paper on the cases investigated by our commission demonstrating how starvation as a war crime and as a crime against humanity um, has occurred and ought to be prosecuted. A major focus of the report is that millions of South Sudanese civilians are being deliberately starved or deprived of access to basic services, while up to 80% of monthly non-oil revenues are unaccounted for, having been diverted from official accounts by the country's politicians.